Hey, I'm Dev Patel. We're on set of my new movie, Monkey Man. My directorial debut. Spooky. I'd say I'm a fan of Dev Patel. I liked him in Chappie and Slumdog Millionaire. Although, looking at Letterbox, I've seen hardly any of his films. So I can't be that much of a fan. Still haven't finished The Green Knight. And I do want to see Hotel Mumbai at one point. I guess I've liked Dev in films I've seen him in. I mean, he's really good in Lion. I almost forgot about that one. However much I appreciate him in these small movies, he's only really starred in one blockbuster. M. Night Shyamalan's Avatar, The Last Airbender, regarded as one of the worst films ever made. And that must have really dented Dev's aspirations to ever make it mainstream. But it's nice to see him in the driving seat, in control of pretty much everything, almost like a vanity project. I poured all of myself into this, you know. I've long been a huge fan of the action genre and this is kind of my humble offering to a genre I love so much. You know, I wanted to infuse it with some culture and social resonance, uh, along with, you know, some cool kicks, punches and the odd elbow here or there. Monkey Man reminds me of being at university and having the first assignment where we had to make a self-portrait video. Well, if Dev handed this project in, he would have received full marks as he delves into his own heritage and he loosely explores religion and the conflicts of choice in India to good effect, I'd say. The idea of, you know, the caste system in India from the greatest action films like, you know, um, Game of Death with Bruce Lee, where he has to work his way up the pagoda to fight, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and that amazing sequence at the end, you know, where the bosses get tougher and bigger and badder. Thankfully, Monkey Man is an original film based on the monkey god Hanuman, but it's also your atypical revenge movie made in the style of John Wick and Bruce Lee Kung Fu movies, where people just sometimes just drop guns and we just find out who's better at hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then when watching the trailer, I was worried about the film wanting to be a wannabe raid, but it ended up being a film of two halves. First was an old boy kind of feel with minimal action and more character development. And the second being balls to the wall action similar to previously mentioned action movies. I've got to say, one thing that Dev Patel does pretty well in Monkey Man is his respect for the South Asian LGBTQ community. Throughout the film, other trans characters emerge in colorful saris and masks to fight alongside Kid during an epic battle scene. This inclusion celebrated the Hijra community, which has a long history in South Asia, but is often demonized and denied access to work and housing in today's India. Like the film really serves as an anthem for the underdog and marginalized. Like Vipin Sharma did a really good job playing Alpha. Definitely one of the highlights of the movie. So some of the other actors in the film, we got Alfonso played by uh, Pito Bash. And he's funny in the film, he's just kind of like bench or this, bench or that. And uh, I really enjoyed his uh, crass language. So he gets a nice bit of airtime at the beginning of the film. Gives Dev's kid character a nice little ride in his vehicle. What happened to your hands? Car crash. Engine caught fire. Queenie, played by Ashwini Kalseka, was quality. She's like the owner of this club. And to be fair, she's quite intimidating. But Dev's got to find a way to charm her. There's my CV. <laughs> That's bleach. Chemical. Oil. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Just so he can work in this club and get revenge on the man who killed his mum. And that's Rana Singh, played by Sikanda Kerr. This guy looks like a mixture between Eamon Walker, you know, Kareem Saeed from Oz. It's kind of like him mixed with Joe Manganiello. Like, seriously, you put these three men together and they're like, I don't know, triplets? Getting this film released in the cinema was thanks to Jordan Peele who really believed in the project. Otherwise, we'd have seen this go straight to Netflix. For me and for Monkey Paw, you know, the idea of representation and stories that have brown people in them and are big genre stories in a way we haven't seen is always going to be, you know, front and center for us. Not because of some kind of affirmative action, but because those are the movies we really are longing for. Unfortunately though, I can't see Monkey Man staying in the cinema for over a month maybe. So you'll be able to catch this on streaming very soon. I would advise going to the cinema for this movie as it's quite ambitious and the action scenes are at times quite intense. Although it does fall into eye rolling territory. Spoiler alert, 
there's a scene in the lift where Dev gets uh, a knife. He's plunging it into this guy's throat with his teeth. It kind of feels like Dev Patel wanted this film to be like a thinking man's kind of movie, but it doesn't really work. And it's probably because of the script. As there are so many topics involved, Dev doesn't really dive deep into any and kind of keeps it all vague. And sometimes that's a good thing, but with this action film and the first half being quite slow paced, you needed the dialogue to be a bit more powerful, not taking anything away from what the film looks like, as it's very slick and it definitely has a cinema feel to it. But my verdict for Monkey Man, I'd give it three out of five. Dev Patel's passion project delivers on action, heart and a fresh take on the genre. And I liked his ideas of corruption, caste systems, police brutality, and Patel doesn't shy away from the dark side. However, he does balance it with hope, courage, and a nice dash of mythology. I think it's incredible. He worked so hard on it. He, he said at South by Southwest, he had every obstacle come his way. He overcame every obstacle, but that's, that's art and that's passion. And I'll, I'll even keep it real. That's often what it takes, especially for underrepresented voices to be heard. Like our culture is so beautifully displayed in this movie in a way I've never seen it displayed before. And I wish I could say, oh, it's probably super easy to do that, but it's not. It's really, really hard. And I give him mad props for that.